Okay, so you might be wondering, like, what's the point of this? What's the point of custom operating systems and stuff? Um, well, the thing is this, is that, for instance, like, for me, the biggest thing is that, at this point, my phone is, you know, I got it in 2014 or whatever. So, let's say that you're on AT&T, and you have a Galaxy S4 or something like that. Alright, so... Um, AT&T might be taking forever. Let's say right now you might be on, um, Android Lollipop. And so, when Nougat comes out, it might take you into, you know, January to get Nougat if you actually waited on AT&T. Whereas if you were using a custom operating system, you could actually start running Nougat, like, you know, a lot earlier. Uh, because you're using a custom version of Android, which Android is open source, instead of actually having to wait for the phone provider and the companies and things like that to um, send it to you through an update, you can just flash it yourself. Um, and here's another kind of neat thing. For instance, um, on my phone, I have right here where Twitter is built into the lock screen, and that's a part of CyanogenOS. OS. You just double click on the story and it opens up into Twitter and tells me about the actual story itself so can't tell you how much stuff I've learned not from actually going on Twitter but because stuff was just already on my lock screen you know um another pretty neat thing is for instance um right here is true caller and what True Hauler does is, is that when someone sends you a, when someone calls you, like, you know, you get those random numbers and stuff, it's going to tell you who is actually calling you and where they're from, stuff like that. Um, also, I can block s s uh, spam numbers, um, block hidden phone calls, and Skype is actually built directly into my, um, system so I would actually have the choice between whether I want to make a Skype phone call or whether I want to make a you know a regular phone call so uh, but the thing is that sometimes custom operating systems I mean they can be a little bit buggy Cyanogen is one of the best in the business when it comes to it but there is like a plethora that you can choose from like uh, I like paranoid Android there's pack room Dirty unicorn and just all types of stuff. So, um, yeah, just something to consider if you're on an older phone, especially. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend becoming a part of the um, mod community. So, peace out.